Well, the Salvation Army bell ringers are a sign that the holiday season is here. And this year, the Red Kettle campaign is more important than ever. So we are so, so happy to be joined by Commissioner Kenneth Hodder of the Salvation Army. Along with Jerry Jones, the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, Charlotte Jones, and CMA Entertainer of the Year, Luke Combs. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Hi, guys. Hey, for happy us. Thanksgiving. Oh, happy my, Thanksgiving Happy to Thanksgiving you. to you as well. Do, let's start with the Jones family. You guys and your philanthropy is unbelievable celebrating 25 years. How awesome is that? Well, it's unbelievable that we've been doing this for so long. It truly has become a tradition for our organization, for the Salvation Army, and for all of our players to be able to take the halftime of Thanksgiving Day right in the middle of the ball game. Drop Luke Combs right in the middle. <laughs> Let his performance inspire America to give to the Salvation Army so the Salvation Army can take care of those in need. This truly is a passion project for us, for our players, for our entire organization. And we hope that we share that passion with everyone that's watching and inspire them to give too. Uh, we love that it and also that makes it so easy with the Red Kettle campaign. But Luke, we got to say, I've been listening to your songs all morning just because I like to listen to your lyrics. Now I feel like I really, really know you. <laughs> And um, you, <laughs> so we're so excited to see you. Is, is, do you have a favorite song? And what are you going to, is there one that you're definitely excited to perform at halftime? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Favorite song, man. Um, I mean, I like all of them. I always say your songs are like your kids. You know, you like them all. Some better than others, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, I'm, I'm going to leave it a surprise. You know, if I told you it would ruin the surprise. But I'm just excited to be here with the Cowboys and the Salvation Army. I mean, it's just an honor, you know, to get to be a little bit of a part of uh, a whole lot of folks' Thanksgiving and, and get to help a lot of others have a great Thanksgiving is uh, is just an amazing, uh, amazing thing. Well, our, our executive producer's wedding song was Beer Never Broke My Heart. No, it was Beautiful Crazy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it was Beautiful Crazy. I got them confused. Ken, <laughs> Ken we direct awesome. our next that question awesome. to you. You weren't always the commissioner in chief at the Salvation Army. You practice real estate law. Is that true? That's right. I practiced corporate and real estate law for a number of years before uh, God called me to this work. And uh, he had the right plan because uh, my wife and I have had 33 years of marvelous service and we wouldn't do anything else. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's just amazing. I love it. So this year with the pandemic, uh, it's that much more important to give, right? And just for everyone out there, if they're feeling blessed, what's, what should we do? How can we help the most? Well, there are lots of ways that people can get involved, but you're absolutely right, Kara. Uh, there is a lot of need this year. The Salvation Army is always concerned with the most vulnerable in our communities. People who have to make decisions between paying the light bill or providing toys for their children, between paying the rent or putting food on the table. The Salvation Army, working with the Cowboys and Luke, hope that we'll be able to motivate people tomorrow to do something that will help the neighbors in their own community because all the money will stay right there. They can do it through SalvationArmyUSA.org. They can volunteer as a bell ringer. They can distribute food. There are lots of ways to get involved. And Jerry, are we going to see the uh, Dallas Cowboys in the Super Bowl this year? Well, let me say this. Uh, uh, maybe let's stay a little close in. Is Zeke going to go in that red kettle tomorrow? <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, hey, and, and I might add, it. Uh, the point's been made that uh, we've done this for 25 years. That means I got to sit by Beyonce <laughs> back before she was Beyonce, but sit there. Luke, I think I'm going down here. <laughs> for sure, for sure. That's, that's a tough loss, right? Life, tough, tough, tough. Life, life is that's tough. True. But yeah. what a great combination and what a winning combination. Yes. And it's been such a thrill to hang around the realm, if you will, just who you rub shoulders with for the Cowboys to do it with the Salvation Army. Now these guys are winners, uh, they're generational in their efforts, and they're truly an asset that we in this country should use them to help us help the people we want to help in this country. They're the best at it. Okay, well what you see ain't always what you get, but in this case it is, Luke and gang, we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thanks so much, Scott. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Happy Thanksgiving. Nice people. Absolutely. That was fun. His lyrics are very catchy. It's kind of fun to listen. Yeah. You get Beer it. never broke my heart. I think it's hysterical. <laughs>